Well, this week our GMA on the road series continues with St. Martin Parish. If you're in town for the Brobridge Crawfish Festival, you might want to take a short drive over to St. Martinville to check out the Acadian Memorial and Museum. And this museum has a lot of fascinating history about our Acadian ancestors. Eric Zernick has more on this memorial. The Acadian Memorial and Museum was created to honor the 3,000 Acadians who fled persecution from France and then were deported from Nova Scotia in the 1800s to what is now known as Acadiana. Our main features of the memorial are a mural that was painted by Robert Dafford. It's a twin to a mural that was that was also he also painted in not France and it's the arrival of the Acadians. The mural is a massive painting taking up an entire wall measuring 30 feet long and 12 feet tall. We also have the wall of names mm -hmm. which is a bronze wall with all of the names of the 3000 Acadians who came including some of the ship's manifest. Like the Vietnam Wall in Washington, D.C., you can use black chalk to make a rubbing of your family's name from the wall. And the last part, we have a, a memorial garden, and we have a replica of the deportation cross that you find in the originals in Nova Scotia commemorating the deportation of the Acadians. On the sidewalk in the garden leading up to the cross are about 40 mosaic family coats of arms or crests. But one of the most interesting things about the Acadian Memorial and Museum is that it is entirely bilingual in both English Hundreds of Acadians deported to Maryland and Pennsylvania and, and French. Reporting in St. Martinville, Eric Zernick, KTC TV3. We'll be profiling St. Martin Parish all week as we ramp up to our special GMA on the road show this Friday morning at the Brobridge Crawfish Festival. We'll be profiling people in places that make St. Martin Parish great. Then tune into our special show Friday morning on GMA.